Okay, now let's do the preview for next week. This is the preview. <clears throat> this is the preview for the week of May 9th to May uh, 13th. It's not going to be as busy as this week. Sorry to disappoint. Doesn't mean no action. We've seen weeks with little, a uh, few indicators, but lots of action. First of all, before the week opens, we have the Chinese trade balance. Uh, we're looking for the level of exports and level of imports more than anything else. More economic activity, good for the world, less worse for the world. Uh, on Monday, we have Eurogroup meetings. The Greek story is still not at the forefront of news, but it's becoming more and more important. Uh, still no deal for Greece, mostly because the IMF and the European Commission or Germany are at loggerheads more than anything Greece does. And Tuesday, we have another jobs figure from the Fed, the JOLTS job openings, sort of complementary to the NFP, but looking at the month of March, not the month of April like today. And Wednesday, we have crude oil inventories, as always. It could get more attention on a lighter calendar. And on Thursday, we have the UK rate decision. Of course, no changes expected before the uh, EU referendum. Um, but it's still an important event because we do have the minutes and perhaps fresh forecasts. On Friday, we have the um, German GDP. You know how the strongest, the biggest economy in Europe is doing. And uh, lots of US figures, retail sales, PPI, and consumer sentiment, all concentrated on Friday. So a week that begins relatively slowly uh, explodes on Friday. The focus, uh, I think, there is a chance that Greece will steal the show next week, but I'm not sure. Um, political events will also have an impact. And on Friday, it's all about the United States once again. Okay, so that's the preview for next week's events. Wish everybody a safe and successful day uh, in the markets today with the non from payrolls. Remember, if you're not sure, you don't understand what's going on, no need to trade the event. The market will always provide more opportunities. Okay, so wishing everybody a happy Friday, successful day in markets. And a great weekend. It's uh, almost summer in the Northern Hemisphere, so uh, enjoy. Uh, so that's it. See you on Monday. Thanks and bye-bye.